Hello, everybody, and i got a question for you. When you're sitting around with the family trying to figure out what you're going to have for dinner or you're tired of making the same old, same old, or at least it tastes like that, and then you go to the freezer and you realize there's not really much in here, and you're dying for those meals that you're used to and what you've had before. So why not look at freezer meals, pre-made freezer meals from your leftovers, things you've made, or just outright make them as you go. You can do your spaghettis, your goulashes, your soups. You can do casseroles. You can do pre-made burritos or enchiladas or a lot of different things. Well, that leads us to where we're at, which today I'm here to bring you a great collaboration being started by our friend Ashley over at CNC Farm. If you haven't had a chance to go over there, you might want to because Ashley's introduced the Freezer Meals 23 hashtag and collaboration. So come along, let's show you what we do. So in this one, we're going to use five pounds of potatoes. We're going to make actually four different freezer meals and about five pounds of potatoes. We're using 12 hot dogs or sausages of your choice. Um, just make sure that they're cooked already. Um, then you want to do two, two onions, but in each one of them, you're going to use a half of a large onion sliced. And then you're also going to use cheese. Now I'm using thick cut deli style cheese. I use four sheets of it, but you can use uh, one cup of grated cheese. You're going to need aluminum foil. And then, of course, for your seasoning, you're going to use a half teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper, both of those to taste. And then you're going to take them and you're going to make four of these. So basically, of the five pounds, you're going to get about a pound and a quarter in each of the containers. So let's go ahead and get to chopping. So what we're going to do now is we're going to half each of the potatoes and we're going to thinly slice these. Now, make sure these are thin skin potatoes, Yukon Golds, Yellows something of the sort but if you use something like russet you'll have to make sure that you uh, uh, peel them beforehand because the skin gets to be too tough so you just go through and you cut all these up and when this is done then we'll come back Now the onions, we're going to do the same way. We're going to go ahead and cut the ends off, peel them, and then we will cut them in half, slicing them, and each half will go into each container. And when this is done, we will be back. Right, so what you're going to do next is you're going to go through and you're going to cut up three hot dogs or the pre-cooked sausages. You could use kielbasa. You could use so many things, bratwurst, whatever it is, your choice. You could do chicken, pork, beef. It, it really comes down to what you want to do. But we're going to do these and we're going to thin slice these. And whatever you do use, make sure you thin slice it because you want it to cook through as well as possibly crisp, crisp up as much as it can. So when this is done, we'll be back. So one of the things I did not mention in the beginning is you're going to need a half stick of butter. And out of that half stick of butter, you need five slices for each package. So one stick will accommodate two of the containers. Now I cut it up a little bit more because I forgot about it being five, but still that will help you out and that will get you where you need it to go. Once that's done, then we can take all of the meat, the onions, the potatoes, the salt, the pepper, mix it all together, um, and then we will move over to the container once this is done.
So now that you've got those done, what you're going to go through and put your tin foil on, which obviously I have, and you're going to write down on it. So basically, you're going to let it thaw. You're going to drain off the water because there will be build up a water from it being frozen. Once you do that, now you're going to add one half a cup of milk to the whole thing. And then you're also going to bake it for 45 to 60 minutes at 350 degrees. Now, that will be dependent on your oven and how thought out it is. So you may have to check it. But this is a delicious meal that easy to make. And once it's packed, you don't have to worry about it. So basically, as you can see, I wrote that down on each one of the four packages. Um, again, let it thaw, drain the water, add the milk, bake 45 to 65 minutes, 350 degrees. You're going to take these and you're going to put them in the freezer until they're frozen. And then once they're frozen, then you will be able to stack them and they're ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed this. And this is our approach to freezer meal. So don't forget to go over to uh, CNC Farm on the 7th of April. She will have a live drawing for a vintage cookbook. Make sure you put comments on the videos that come out to be eligible for said drawing. And remember, it's National Frozen Month. Do something with it and get ready and prepare. Thank you.